Hello. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what causes a hard drive to die. We're all quite familiar with the click or crash of death that occurs in a hard drive. This, as you can see, is a standard uh, hard drive. This one, of course, is dead. It is a SATA hard drive, as you can tell by the connectors in the bottom. If we remove the top screws that mount the top plate to the hard drive, inside you can see the anatomy of what makes up your hard drive. This drive has a single platter along with your reader head and the rotating mechanism. What causes a hard drive to actually read the data is this actuator arm and a small reader head placed on the end of that arm which picks up the ma data magnetically from the platter. Here you have your magnets which actually move the actuator arm backward and forward across the platter and this piece here is called the stop. That's what actually makes the click of death when the hard drive bounces back off of it. The hard drive arm here senses where it is on the platter and attempts to obtain positioning so that it can find the data. When it is unable to do so, it bounces back and forth off the platter causing that click of death that we hear on the outside. Usually, 95% of the time, the head is what goes bad. It can't send the sense the positioning data and so it crashes. About approximately 5% of the time it's either a power issue, not enough to the hard drive or sometimes too much, or a bad chip that causes the hard drive to go backward and forward. This of course ends up begging the question, is it worth the time and money to recover the data off the hard drive. If you have a backup, obviously you trash the hard drive and restore your data from the backup. This is why backups are so important and why we stress them here at Techware Labs. Um, so what you want to do is you can, if you don't have a backup and the data on the hard drive is important enough, you can actually send the hard drive into uh, a special data recovery operation and they will take the platter off of the hard drive in to another similar drive and attempt to recover your data for you. This, of course, is usually extremely expensive, uh, upwards of $1,000 or more, depending on how much data is recovered, and there's no guarantee that they can recover all of your data. So what's become popular in the past is to try a couple of different methods to recover the data. One is freezing. The other is usually what's called the WAC method, where you tap the hard drive or hit it, and it frees it up. These actually address physical problems with the drive that are usually not the culprit. Freezing uh, works because when the platter, the, the motor which causes the, sp the spindle to move, shorts out. Two wires in the spindle on the armature short out and the motor is unable to spin. Freezing actually moves the platter slightly, freeing up that short and allows the motor to spin. The WAC method actually works when the head is either stuck to the hard drive platter or the armature mechanism is struck and it frees it up slightly and allows it to move. These are usually not the cause of the problem. So we end up with what does the click of death actually look like? This, as I said, is a SATA drive, 7200 RPM, and so we're going to stick this in the thermal tank, black X enclosure, and show you what the click of death really looks like. Now, of course, the moment you take the cover off of the hard drive, you expose the platters to airborne debris and allow that drive to pretty much be useless. So this drive is dead. If it wasn't before, the moment we took the cover off, it is now. And here's what the click of death looks like in real life. As you can see, the armature head is slapping backward and forward until it locks in a position and can no longer find the data. That's when you know your hard drive is dead. Thanks for watching.